Hey guys, it's Steph. How do you become a master web developer? So you may or may not know, I've been developing websites and apps since 1994, and I've worked with many different languages over the years on many different types of projects. So what has my over 20 years experience have taught me? The way, the way to become a master web developer is to, number one, stick to one language and master that language. That's a very important point. Instead of uh, jumping around, learning a little bit of Ruby, a little bit of Python, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, what you want to do is you want to pick a particular technology, whichever ones you prefer, and then really understand it well and start building projects with it. So if you were to pick PHP, for example, then uh, learn your basics, learn your object-oriented programming in PHP, and then pick a PHP framework. These days, I'm recording this in 2016, Laravel is the uh, most prominent and important one, but really any MVC framework that's up to date is a good choice. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna get deeper into the logic of programming and into the nuts and bolts of the language. So learn how to use your particular language in an advanced way. So for instance, with PHP, you might want to get into uh, anonymous inner functions, get into recursion, not only knowing what these are and how to do it, but knowing when you'd want to use these uh, patterns of coding, if you will. And as I mentioned just a few moments ago, a big thing is to uh, build real projects. You learn much more by actually building real things rather than just doing a bunch of tutorials. So dive deep into real projects, continue to uh, spend some time on the side looking and exploring at more advanced ways to approach coding and stick to it until you become really advanced because the danger is to uh, start spreading yourself too thin and starting to learn three, four or five different frameworks or languages at the same time. It's very tempting, I've been there, I've done it in the past and it just slows down your uh, progress to becoming a master developer, web developer or otherwise. And I first learned this principle, by the, by the way, when I was a martial artist. And there was a point when I was like maybe 16 or 17 and I was doing three or four styles at the same time, well, about three. And it got to the point when I was like 17 years old, I was intermediate level in about seven styles. Crazily, uh, crazy enough. Now, I've been doing martial arts since I've been 10. So, and one day, one of my coaches, one of the teachers said to me, Steph, you know, you've been doing martial arts for a long time now, but you're not an expert at martial arts yet. You know a lot of different things, but you're not really at that expert level. So he said, to become the expert, you have to pick a style and learn it really well. And he says, when you do get to that expert level, uh, your ability to interpret all the other styles will become expert level. And so I took his advice and that's what I did. And sure enough, when I really honed uh, my craft in one style, my wrestling got much better, my boxing got much better, my uh, catch Campbell got much better and so on and so forth. Same thing with programming, by the way, caught in the same uh, loop where I would do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Of that. And you, you're gonna, have to mix it up when you're programming. You always got to, you know, especially in web development, you're typically going to be using at least four languages, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, for sure. Those are three you for sure you're going to use. And then after that, for server-side programming, uh, you might be doing PHP, you might be doing Ruby, you might be doing Python, you might be doing Java. There's other options as well. If you don't know what server-side programming is, you should do my beginner's HTML course. I teach all that and, of course, a lot more. So there you go. If you want to master programming, this is what you want to do. Stick to one language. Really get a good understanding of it. Pick a framework that goes with that language. Master it. And then build projects off of that. And you'll see that you'll learn to become a much better and more productive programmer by doing that as opposed to learning a bit of this one week and then learning a bit of that one week and learning a bit of this one week. So uh, there you go. I saved you a lot of headaches. Well, I will save you a lot of headaches if you take this advice. Thanks for watching.